This video explains how to convert a POSIX CT date and time object to a Unix timestamp using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a POSIX CT date and time object. And we can do that, as you can see, in line two of the code. And in this case, I'm using the sys.time function to create a POSIX CT date and time based on the current date and time. So after running line two of the code, you can see that a new date time object is appearing at the top right, which is called my date time. And we can print this date time object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that currently it is the 7th of November 2022 at 9.47 a.m. So we can also check the class of this data object using the class function, as you can see in line 5 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a data object which has the POSIX CT class. Now, let's assume that we want to convert this date and time object to a Unix timestamp. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line seven. And in this line of code, I'm using the s.numeric function and I'm applying this function to our date time object that we have created before. And then I'm storing the output of the s.numeric function in a new data object that I'm calling my timestamp. So after running line seven of the code, this new timestamp object is appearing at the top right. And we can print this timestamp to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line eight of the code. And then you can see that our new data object contains a timestamp, which corresponds to the POSIX CT date and time object that we have created before. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.